Hi everybody, this is Dee. Uh, coming on here to show you a couple things. I got some Happy Mail, which is super exciting. I love Happy Mail. I'm like a little kid at Christmas. And I got a couple of sub boxes. I also um, bought some yarn from uh, Crystal the Yarny Chicken. She is spinning yarn now, y'all. Now, I did a video which is crazy hacked up because my phone kept shutting off as me and Mark were dying yarn. So I'm not good at editing, so it's taking me a while. But in that video, when I do finally get it done and up, is the yarn before I dyed it, okay? And it was just, uh, you know, just a normal naked base. And hold on. Okay. Here's my card. And look, she's got a little chicken sticker on there. Chicken sticker. It says, thank you for your order. See the kitty and the chicken? Made by Crystal 2024. It says, thank you. Hi, Dee. Thank you for ordering some hand-spun wool. I hope you like it and have fun dyeing it. Enjoy. Love ya, BYF. That means best yarny friend. Sincerely, Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. Now, let me read her label here. Her label has chickens on it, too. It's so cute. And it says, Crystal the Yarny Chicken, hand-spun yarn, undyed, Romney wool. It's a roving between one and three weight. It's a one-ply or single ply between one and three weight, approximately 300 to 314 yards. Okay. So, this yarn is super special to me. I was so excited that she was spinning this for me. And so I dyed it my colors. You guys know my colors, teals, blues, greens. So are you ready? It's gorgeous. You see the green and the teals and the blues and I'm going to make myself something really super special out of this I haven't decided what yet but it's soft and it's so cool it's one ply can you see isn't it beautiful guys I love it thank you crystal thank you so much okay my next Happy Meow came all the way from Bangkok, y'all. This is from Chris Loves Crochet. If you guys aren't subscribed, you should subscribe to her. She is super cool. She lives in Bangkok, and she does tutorials. She's always coming up with hippy-dippy stuff that I love. And like I said, it's called, and I'll link everyone below, Chris Loves Crochet. She said, hey, D. Happy Chinese New Year, wishing you a yarn field year of the dragon. Your yarny family is as awesome and as the vibrant colors in your crochet projects. May this new year bring you loads of creative inspiration and joy. Let the yarn party go. Let's keep the yarn party going strong and make the year of the dragon a fantastic chapter in our yarn adventures. Yarn hugs and Chinese New Year cheers. Chris loves crochet. She's got away with words too, doesn't she? Wishing you a prosperous and joyful Chinese New Year in 2024. May the year of the dragon bring you good luck, good health, and happiness. Chris. Isn't that cool? Wait till you see what she gave me. It says Happy New Year 2024. If I can just get it open. I'm having a hard time with my hands today. I've been uh, working on amigurumi. Yeah. I put my shawl to the side for a minute because I wanted so bad to make Patrick a Chucky doll. And so that's what I'm doing. And those little stitches, you know, they get to you. And it says, I glow in the dark. Look at the dragon. The Chinese Year of the Dragon, and it glows in the dark. Isn't that cool? I totally love this. Thank you so much, Chris. This is bad, bad butt. 
I love it so much. And it glows in the dark. How cool is that? Yay. Thank you, Chris. And like I said, her link will be down in the description box. She also sent me some stickers. Which I will keep. And isn't that cool? Super cool. I love that. And her link will be down below. Okay. Next happy mail I got. Let me get it out here. Because everything is wrapped up. And, you know, I always open my happy mail just in case, you know. You never know. You know. You never know. I've had some strange things happen. So, you never know. Okay, there's the bag. Okay, this one. Let me get this card out of here. It says D on it. it. says happy, 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 happy. And it's got Snoopy on it. Oh, there's stuff in it. D, happy dance, happy heart, happy day, birthday. Have a fun and amazing, beautiful birthday. Love your friends, Connie and Candace Wagner. Thank you, ladies. This is awesome. And let me see, what is this? I don't read everything, but I do open it to make sure. I, let's see, D, hi. There's a few things for your birthday. I made one of them. Candace and I hope that you have the best birthday ever, surrounded by those you love. I can't wait for the mall. The make-along? Much love, Connie. Isn't that awesome? I know, I can't wait to get going on that either. Anyway, she sent me all kinds of really cool stickers. My nails are atrocious, but here's a manda I, mandala. Mandala? Aren't they pretty? And here's a mushroom. I love mushrooms. You guys know that. And here is a wolf howling at the moon. And here's a hippy dippy butterfly. It says flower on it. Gonna be a bright sunny day. I love that song. And one that says good vibes. That's what we have here is good vibes. And the moon and the feather. And uh, my native name is Sunfeather, so Moonfeather, that's pretty cool. And this one is someone sitting on the moon, which is neat. And this one is a hippy-dippy gnome with a bunch of planets around it. Oh, I love these. And this one is mushrooms and a frog. Those are super cool. I love them so much. Thank you, Connie. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, this must be the item she made. Oh, I love it. My colors, guys. And look look at the leather tag on there. It says handmade, and it's got a heart. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see. Let's put it on. There we go. What do you think? I'm starting. Oh, I like it. I like the way it feels, too, and it doesn't, like... I don't like hats that, like, suck on your head and hurt you. This is perfect size for me. Thank you, Connie and Candace. Okay, what is this? Okay, there's a bunch of pink and yellow ribbon. Sculptor Crochet Mini Kit. Icicle Fairy makes four by Mary Boose Mellick. That's interesting. Oh, it's got beads, wood beads, and crystal beads, and some really sparkly, it looks like cotton yarn, and pipe cleaners, probably for the arms, and then some non-sparkly cotton yarn in the pattern. Look, isn't this cool, all the stuff that's in there? And look at the angel, guys. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. Yeah, this is cool. Thank you very much. I love that. I love making little projects. You know how I am. I love that stuff. Okay. Man, I got some cool stuff. Okay, let's see what this one is. No way. I have never in my life owned a coach purse, y'all. This is a coach. A real coach. 
Like, you could fit your, you know, your phone, maybe. You know, my phone's kind of long. But I could fit, like, my license and money and stuff. I have never owned a coach. Oh, I'm fancy now. I got me a coach bag. Holy cow. That's so cool. Look at y'all. I've never owned a fancy purse. Last fancies I've gotten is Kohl's, you know? <laughs> Vera Bradley, things like that. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Thank you. Make sure there's nothing. Oh my gosh. You spoil me, guys. You absolutely spoil me. Okay, now this one comes from Yarn Bar. She asked me, did you get my mail yet? Did you get my mail yet? Well, I finally got it today. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, yarn barf. Christy, this is awesome. It's a emotional support chick. Check it out. It's got a peace sign and a B. And it's using um, novelty yarns, which you know I love. And there is oh, a keychain with a VW bus on it. Oh, Christy, I love it. Oh, this is adorable. I, I love that peace sign. That's so cool. And she used the novelty yarns for the tail. Oh, man. And that bee is like a brooch. <gasps> Christy. Oh, I love it so much. I'm going to take this out of its mouth, though. Oh. oh, Christy. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. It feels like there's something else. Oh. Is there no card? Well, I guess not. Okay. Oh, this is a VW. A troll! I used to love these things. Look at this little big troll. Okay, this is going on my desk. Did you see it? I'm sorry. I went so fast. I was so cute. Isn't it cool? I love it. Little troll. And this is a VW bus. I guess I should use scissors, right? <laughs> Get too old to use my teeth. <laughs> I might lose one in the process. Oh, look how cute this is. BW bus. That's going on my desk, too. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Christy. This is awesome. You rock, man. You guys are so sweet. A coach bag and a emotional support chicken and a cool hat. And a dragon that glows in the dark. How awesome is that? I'm also going to show you um, my colors. Before I forget to say because you know how forgetful I am. I picked up my colors for the uh, Crystal Over at Bag of Days Crochet Along Shawl. I picked up my colors. I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, this is the uh, Lamuna VIP Crystal Club that I get every month. I'm not so sure I'm going to keep it. I don't know. It's $12.95 for the shipping. And supposedly you get a free crystal. Okay? And this is my free crystal this month. Uh, let's see. Clear, clear Crystal Quartz Cluster. Clarity, Manifestation, Focus, and Healing. I was always taught, let's see here, it's pretty, it's just a raw piece like out of a geode. Um, I was always taught that a quartz crystal amplifies other energies. So like if you're in a good mood, it makes your good mood better. If you're in a bad mood, it makes your bad mood better. So, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't know what twelve ninety five guys, you know. Yeah. Pretty, but $12.95. Okay, so this is my favorite um, crystal subscription box, and it is mine. 
mindful souls okay so this is my favorite one and let me see they always send you a booklet here hold on let me show you describing what everything is and the uses for it they send you a sticker which this is that evil eye thing i guess <laughs> i didn't know what it was when i had the big thing but it's a pretty color pretty color and then this is a um, affirmation card and always says something this one says I can pick and choose what I want to do it's just like positive reinforcement kind of stuff which I think is cool okay this is what we got first off we got some Nag Champa Agarbathi smells pretty good these are incense. I don't think I've ever smelled this one before. And I used to sell incense at my store. Hmm. Nice. Very pleasant. Very uh, earthy and clean smelling. Okay, and you get these little um, canvas bags with everything. Okay. This looks like it's got the chakra colors on there, or the rainbow, however you want to put it. And then a quartz crystal. And the bottom is a quartz crystal as well. Now that's neat. I love rocks. I always have. I've collected them since I was a kid. I love finding arrowheads and semi-precious stones and just everyday stone. I I always, wherever I go, like my son is in the Bahamas, and I told him each country he goes to, because like he's going to Aruba and Jamaica and whatever, I said, I want a stone from each beach. <laughs> I love rocks. And uh, I have a shirt that says, not all who wander are lost. Some of us are looking for rocks. <laughs> this is pretty. This is an amethyst stone. Look how big that is. Isn't that nice? That's really really nice that's a nice piece and that is like palm size very pretty shined real nice yeah that's nice I like that okay, what is this oh this is a hair comb oh, there's a paper in there if I can get it oh no it's just holding that down I'll read the thing. I, that looks like jade to me. Look at it. Can you see the teeth on it? That's pretty neat. Let me see if it's made out of jade. I believe it is. Jade. Yep, jade hair comb. Used for centuries to stimulate blood circulation, promoting, promoting new hair growth, and beauty treatment that will leave you feeling relaxed. I could use some relaxed. I could use some happy. That's what I need. I need a whole lot of happy right now. I've had the worst couple of months. Uh, oh, wee, this is gorgeous. And this is my granddaughter's birthstone. Ooh, I'm going to have to give this to her for her birthday. <gasps> so pretty. This is citrine. That is not doing it justice. It is super sparkly and super pretty. This is my granddaughter's birthstone. My granddaughter, Faith Ann. Oh, is that ever... Yep, that's going to be a birthday present. <sighs> Yay, save me some money. <laughs> yeah, right, like this would be the only thing i give her, you know. But that's a good gift. Okay, and this is last but not least. Let's see what we got in here. I love these Mindful Soul boxes because they're like 30 something dollars, under $40. They're like between 30, 30, I'd say between 35 and 40. And I mean, that's well over 35, $40 worth of stuff. Oh, this looks like it might be a ring. Look. Sure is. Oh, what kind of stone is that? Hold on. Kalanite, blue Kalanite, and sterling silver. 
Oh, isn't that pretty? Can you see? Oh, I like that. Yes, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Can you all see? Yeah, that's pretty. Let me see. Kellanite. This one says, this beautiful ring might become your new secret hack to build a relationship that thrives on harmony and mutual understanding. I already got that, but thank you very much. Oh, it use a backup plan? <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I, it's adjusted big, but it is very, very pretty. It has blue and gray tones. And it sparkles. My light never does things justice. Yeah, it's um, got some navy color in there and some grays. Very pretty. I just love this box. Ooh, does that ever smell good? The whole box smells like it. Mmm. That's good smelling stuff. This is... Very nice. I love it all. I really do. That's really, really pretty stuff. Wow. And I love that they they give you stuff in these bags because it keeps it safe and keeps them from banging around. You know how the mail is. Banging around and getting all scratched up and everything. You know, you want your crystals to shine, not be a mess, you know. And, uh. I have quite a huge uh, collection of rocks and, and crystals and stones and all that stuff because I've been collecting for my whole life. I even have rocks from the driveway of the house I grew up in. Yeah, I'm that weird girl that collects rocks. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so this was cool. Not so sure about the Luna Moon. I think I'm going to cancel that one, but... Love my mindful souls. I have not been disappointed yet. And that's saying a lot because I'm kind of a crystal snob. So, <laughs> all right. Let us let me show you. I love this chicken. And my coat. I'm a coach purse, y'all. I've never owned a coach in my life. And this is really cool. And Christy, all the things. Oh, my gosh, man. And look. I got to show you the dragon again. A glow-in-the-dark dragon. Super cool. Love that. Love my yarn from Crystal. And like I said, um, if you would like to place an order, I imagine she'll take orders, so get a hold of her. Now, keep in mind, though, that hand-spun yarn is, you know, more expensive than if you were to buy an undyed hank in the store. And I don't know if she's going to start dyeing them, but that can always be a question that you ask. And don't you love my cool hat? I love it. <laughs> okay, so here's my colors. And you guys are going to be surprised. Okay, so we got my burgundy. Of course, I love burgundy. And this one came on Hank. But we have my teal. This is the Cascade Ultra Pima. Very, very soft. So we have teal and burgundy. Um, I also have, this looks copper to me. What, co what color are they saying it is? Dusty apricot. I would agree. That's my copper. And then here's my green. I'm doing it in all my favorite colors. And here's my green. And what are they calling this? This one don't have a color. Hmm. Anyways, looks chartreuse to me. I probably overlooked it. But anyways, and this yarn is made in Peru. Um, the green. And then I got this smoky gray color. Black. You know I gotta have black in there. It's one of my faves. Here's the one that's gonna surprise you. Purple. Yes, but it's royal purple. Okay, so these are my colors. 
to see if I can hold them all up. These are my colors that I'll be making my crystal over at Bag of Days. Uh, crochet a shawl along or something like that. <laughs> crochet shawl along, I think is how she worded it. And um, I wanted it to be very colorful, but I wanted to have the jewel tones. And then I, of course, wanted the black and gray to accent. So I think it's going to be beautiful. What do you guys think? It's going to be very colorful, and I can't wait to get started. I think she's releasing um, the first part of it next week. So if you don't know about it, get over there. She she did a, a video on, um, you know, the stuff you're going to need, how she went about it, all that kind of stuff. You know, um, she shows you how much yarn. She tells you which hook. You know, all that kind of stuff. All the stuff you need to know beforehand. You can make it out of any fiber. But because this particular shawl has to be blocked, because there's like points and things like that that have to be blocked to keep their shape, she's suggesting um, to use natural fibers, such as cotton, which is what I'm making mine out of, or wool, you know, silk, stuff like that that can be pinned and shaped. But you very well can make it out of acrylic. Nobody's saying you can't. Um, it's just that like the point, for instance, if it isn't blocked, may be rounded rather than a point. You know, there's just certain things that may look a little different if done in acrylic, but it still would be beautiful. I mean, it is exquisite, you guys. You guys got to go over there and see it. And also, too, uh, this morning, Crystal hit her 1 million subscribers. I'm so happy for her. Nobody deserves that more. And that just gives the rest of the crochet society that's cheering her on Hope that we can grow our channels, not to a million. You know, I doubt anybody else will hit that milestone. But, I mean, you never say never, right? But, um, my gosh, I, I'm i almost at 4,000 and for having a freak out. I can't even imagine, imagine a million. Can you imagine? And this genre. And she didn't do it being promoted by some company that has a, you know, stuff in her stores and, and commercials with her on it. Now, she did this organically all by herself with all the beautiful tutorials that she puts out, her dedication to the yarn community. I mean, just Crystal, hats off to you, man. Nobody deserves it more. And I'm so happy and so proud of you. And uh, we're cheering you on over here at the D's house. And let's see, is there anything else I wanted to show you? Uh, back behind me, I am starting to label all the yarn. Um, like I said earlier in the video, uh, I, tr I filmed us. It took us three days to dye all the yarn. And I filmed it, but because they're so long, I have to cut them down. And also, there are a few times my phone shut off. I didn't know it, so we lost footage that way. And then there was other times my phone turned on when I didn't touch the button. And me and Mark were jamming in the background, so there's music, and I don't want to get a strike. So I've got to figure out how to edit this all. And when I do, I'll put up the video. But in the meantime, uh, probably tomorrow, um, we will be doing a preview. Just watch out for the video. Probably Monday or Tuesday. We will be doing a preview of the yarn today. Well, when you see this will be Monday. So it'll be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere in there. We'll be doing a preview. And then um, we will do, shortly thereafter, we will do uh, our dib sale. So if you don't know what a dib sale is, all of my yarn is $45. That includes the shipping for two hanks. Okay? That's shipped to you anywhere in the, you know, 48 if you're, be, you know, in another country or whatever, I will gladly ship to you. Just have to pay the extra shipping. And what we do, it's kind of auction style, but you're not bidding on it. What you do is if you like the yarn, the first one to say dibs gets to purchase it. Okay, so that's how we do it. And um, we've done this several times, and they've always turned out to be a success. And hopefully this one will be too. If not, I just gained some really pretty yarn. <laughs> So anyways, we will be having our uh, yarn dip sale, 
And, oh, I forgot to mention, it also comes with one of my handmade stitch markers. So, um, you know, you get a handmade item by me and two hanks of whichever yarn you claim dibs on for $45, and that includes your shipping. Okay, so we will be doing our preview video in the next couple days, and we will uh, have our dip sale probably a couple days after that. Okay, just to give everybody a heads up that the dip sale is coming. So if you want some of me and Mark's hand-dyed yarn, um, that's where you get it. Okay, um, I guess that's it for now. I just wanted to share my happy mail with you and my mindful souls in La Muna or whatever. And show you the colors that I picked out to do Bag of Days crochet along. And you guys know me. I love intricate shawls. I love something that's a challenge. And I am so excited that Crystal has decided to start doing some intricate patterns, you know, in, in, in amongst her normal tutorials that she does. Because that's the that's the ones that I'm looking for. So I'm super excited about that. And once again, congratulations, Crystal. Nobody deserves it more. And I love all you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow or the next day with the yarn preview. And I'm also probably tomorrow going to be calling replay winners. So I can start getting that mail together and get everything out at once. So that's it for now. I love you, friends. Thank you for all the gifts, everybody. It's so heartwarming. You guys treat me so good. And I I just, I hope you know how much it means to me. And thanks again. I, I really, really love everything. There's nothing I don't like. So this is awesome. Anyways, goodbye, my friends. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Be there, be square. Much love, my friends. See you next time.